So hello guys, this is Sushant. So welcome to your channel that is Sci Engineers. We have been uploading videos on various topics of your first year of engineering. We have already uploaded a few videos on your applied mathematics and also for your engineering mechanics. We have been making videos for our basic electrical engineering also. So do go and watch them. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and please hit the bell icon to never miss a video which has been uploaded. So we are from Samartha Vidya classes which is for engineering and science students. We conduct classes for our BE, BTEC and diploma level students and also for the 11th and 12th PCMB groups. We also conduct classes for our engineering entrances. So for enquiry, you can visit our Facebook page or you can email us at samarthavidya at the rate gmail.com. Our main office is based in Mulund, but we also conduct classes in Thane. So for enquiry, you can just contact us. So guys, please do like our videos and please do share our videos so that it helps us in making more videos like this. So help us in helping you. So let's get going. <laughs> So in this particular video, we are yet again taking a topic from our complex number chapter. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss about how to find log of a complex number. Now while finding log of a complex number, there are basically two different values which we can get while taking a log of a complex number. Now the reason for that we'll be discussing in a short while. Now let us concentrate on the first one. This is my log. So you can see that we have written it in a small letter log of x plus i y. So x plus i y is my complex number in this case. It will be equal to half of log of x square plus y square plus i tan inverse y by x. So the first value which you will be getting if you are using the first equation, the value which you will be getting is called as my principal value. In the second equation, if you just observe, you're having your L as a capital letter. So that makes a difference over here. This is for my principal value and this formula is for my generalized value. In the question, they will be mentioning what type of value you have to find. And if it is not mentioned, then generally it is taken as a principal value, which is to be found out. So if you observe this particular equation, the only difference which you can see is this particular term that is my 2 pi n. If you have gone through the earlier video, which we had made on roots of a complex number, then you might have guessed by now, why is this particular thing occurring? So let us try to understand how this equation has come into existence. So let us take our complex number that is z is equal to x plus i y. Now since z is equal to x plus i y, what I can do is I can replace this thing by my r e raised to i theta, which is going to be nothing but the Euler's form of it or the exponential form of it. So wherein my r will be having the value of root of x square plus y square and my theta will be having the value of tan inverse of y by x. So if I consider these two at a time that is my z equals r e raised to i theta and if I take log on both sides so this particular equation comes down to log of r plus log of e raised to i theta because you are using the basic property of log that is multiplication becomes addition. So now what you can see is my log r. Your r is nothing but root of x square plus y square. So it's basically x square plus y square raised to half. So when you're writing this term, it's going to be half log of x square plus y square. Then plus since it is log e raised to something that something will come down. So it's going to be i theta into log e. And since it is natural log which we are taking, log e is going to have the value 1. So it's going to be just i theta which is remaining and my theta is going to be tan inverse of y by x. So you're getting this particular value that is going to be the principal value. 
Now let us try to understand how does the generalized value come into existence. Now what you can see is my theta basically is tan inverse of y by x. And you know that trigonometric functions are cyclic in nature. That is they are repeating themselves over a period. So basically my tan inverse will be repeating itself or the value of my theta is going to be repeating itself after the value of 2 pi n. So to generalize that term, you will be adding this term to get the generalized value. So I hope the basics are clear. So let's head for the solving of some problems. So let us take this particular question, which is to find log of minus one. So obviously you might know by now that you cannot find the value of negative numbers, but you will be able to find it now since you have improved your knowledge on this case. So what you'll be doing is you'll be considering your minus one in the form of the complex number. So what you have to do in this case is you have to concentrate on your minus one. So what you can see is that the real part of this is going to be minus one and the imaginary part is zero. So for that you can just directly apply this formula. So that's going to be half log of minus one square because that's the real part plus zero square which is the imaginary part plus i tan inverse of the y is going to be zero and x is minus one so this is going to be half log of minus one square is one and log one is zero so that is why this is going to be a zero value plus i now if you come to this particular value and if you just recollect from the discussion we had done in the earlier video for finding roots of the complex numbers you can understand that this particular value is going to be pi so you are getting your log of minus one equals i pi so the question is you have to find this particular value that is i raised to i so what you will be doing is let that particular value be some z so my z is i raised to i and since it is a complex number raised to a complex number what you can do is taking log on both sides so you'll be having log z is equal to log of i raised to i so that will come as i into log i so using the same thing which we had just done so my real part is zero and the imaginary part is one so you'll be taking this i common and you'll be applying this formula. So that's going to be half log of zero square plus one square plus i tan inverse of your y by x. So in this case, my y is one and your real part is zero. So again, from the same calculation, you'll be getting the first part as zero the next part that is going to be tan inverse of one by zero. So one by zero is nothing but infinity. So basically you will be having the value as pi by two. So you are having this as i into i pi by two. So your i into i will become minus one. So your value is minus pi by two. So your log z is basically minus pi by two but you required the value of this particular thing that is z. So you'll be taking the anti-log or you'll be taking the exponential term. So it's going to be e raised to minus pi by two. So you are getting the value of z, which in case, in our case, it's going to be i raised to i. So basically my i raised to i is going to be this particular value. So in today's video, we were able to find log of a negative number and also log of a complex number. Also along with it, we have solved for a complex number raised to a complex number, finding the values of that. We'll be trying to help you in clarifying some of the basics which are required for your mathematics, that is for your applied mathematics. For that, we require you to share our videos and like our videos so that we can make such videos in the future. And also, please do subscribe to our page if you're new to the channel. And also hit the bell icon which is just present beside the subscribe button to never miss a video from us. So we are from Samartha Vidya and this is Sushant signing off. 
we have classes for your engineers and for your science students also so if you want to enquire about us you can visit our facebook page or you can email us at samarthavidya@gmail.com we have our main center in mullund but we also do conduct classes in thane so do like do share and do comment in the comment section how did you feel about the videos so keep watching keep learning and happy learning bye take care